Jesse, would you please tell Dan Rooney that I'm here for the meeting? And after that, uh, Steve Hardy wants to see me. Go off to Paris for a week and the fat's in the frying pan. Good morning, Edward. Well, no, Monica. I didn't know he were even back. Well, of course you didn't. A person could get lost in the crowd back at our place. Those two old hens fresh from the farm. Those two ladies are Mrs. Calhoun and Mrs. Whitaker. I don't care who they are. Lord knows who you're going to find running around the place next. I think Lila's gone mad. I totally disagree, Edward. I think Lila's being very gracious and very neighborly. Mm -hmm. Well, there are no neighbors of mine. Okay, well, you take that up with Lila. There's something, however, I would like to take up with you. Okay, Monica, spill it out. Well, I think you should know that I have told Alan that I would prefer that he... Oh, yes, I know. You want Alan to sue you. Ooh, well, you've already talked to you two. <laughs> oh, yes, I know your secret. And uh, I'm sorry, it's not going to work, Monica. It's going to backfire right in your face. Don't underestimate me, Edward. Oh, I don't. You know, I'm glad that you've decided not to uh, sue Alan for divorce. I think it's wonderful. In fact, it's made my day. <laughs> and I sincerely doubt that. Well, you can doubt away, but uh, you know the bottom line is that, uh, well, in the end result, all we Quatermains will be living in the same house again. <laughs> I think that's why she did it, Edward. I think that's what she really wants.